Simulation of a half adder with two gates using TINA. The half adder is a simple combinational circuit to add two single binary digits and provide the output plus a carry value. It has two inputs, called A and B, and two outputs, S, sum, and C, carry. In this tutorial video, we will create and test a half adder circuit in TINA. To start with, we will draw the schematic diagram of the half adder. We will use an exclusive OR gate for the SUM and an AND gate for the carry, high-low switches and voltage pins for the outputs. First, select the exclusive OR gate from the gates toolbar, place it on the workspace, then select and place the AND gate. Next, from the Switches toolbar, select two high-low switches and place them as shown in the video. Next, select and place two voltage pins from the Meters toolbar. Finally, connect the components with wire. Okay, let's rename VF1, VF2, and the switches. Double-click the upper high-low switches and change its label to A. Next, rename the lower high-low switch to B. Rename VF1 to SUM and VF2 to CARRY. And the circuit is now complete. Now, to test the circuit, click the DIG interactive button. If TINA is in a different interactive working mode, select Digital from the interactive menu. The mode name on the interactive mode button will change to DIG. Alternatively, you can use the narrow Select Interactive Mode button to change the interactive working mode. Play with the switches toggling between low and high levels to produce all the input combinations. If both inputs are low, sum and carry are also low. If just one input is high, then sum is high too and carry is low. If both inputs are high, then SUM is low and CARRY is high. Now, modify the inputs to plot a time diagram and replace the switches with pulse sources. Delete the two switches. Click the Sources tab, then select two pulse sources from the toolbar and add them to the circuit. Finally, select the grounds from the basic toolbar and connect them to the pulse sources. To produce all the needed input combinations for a time period of one second, set the PS1 pulse source to high from 0.2 seconds to 0.6 seconds. Double-click the pulse source PS1, then in the dialog window, Click the Pattern field and the three dots. To add new states, click the Add New button in the Set Moments and Levels dialog window. Enter the value 0.2 into the field Moment number 1. Next, switch the level number 1 to High. Click the Add New button again, enter the value 0.6, and leave the level Level number 2 low. Save these settings by clicking the OK button. Press OK to close the Pulse Source dialog. Next, set Pulse Source PS2 from 0.4 seconds to 0.8 seconds to high.
Add more voltage pins to the inputs of the circuit to see the input signals on the diagram. Rename VF1 into A and VF2 into B. Also add colon 1 to the end of label A and colon 2 to the end of label B to display these signals at the top of the diagram. Also rename sum to sum colon 3. These settings will separate the signals and determine their orders in the diagram. A will be at the top, followed by B, sum, and carry. Finally, run digital timing analysis from the analysis menu. Click the analysis menu and select digital timing analysis. Set the simulation end time to 1, then press OK. Now all signals are displayed separately in a time diagram.